And how do we, are we happy being the middle sister? Are we happy being there? Oh, we should be. Canada is considered the hippest country. I mean, I live in the United States for nine months of the year, and then I'm in Canada for three months a year. I have a home here, and I, I don't know anyone in my world that doesn't say, you're Canadian? Oh, my God, especially with Trump as president. Yeah, because that's really the last sort of... But it's even before, even before Trump was president. I mean, that's, that's kind of the last hurrah, yes, as far as certain Americans feeling... Um, but is that because your kids at school have less chance of being shot, or is that because of the political environment, or is that because we're racist, but we're not that racist? Why? Well, I mean, I think in fairness to the United States, if you tried to unite Europe into one country, <laughs> it would be tricky. I mean, Romania might be Alabama, and France might be New York State. And you'd go to certain sections of that, you know, one country Europe, and you'd say, I don't know who my country is. Right. So I do think that, um, you know, there's California, there's New York. Nora Ephron used to say, guys, it's not complicated with the United States. You just live in New York City, that's all, you know, and you're fine. So that's, that was her opinion. But the point of it is that there, it, it's, a, it's a lot of people and it's a lot of land mass. And there's a lot of 300-year traditions if you grew up in Georgia versus if you grew up in Los Angeles. And it's one country, but it's different sensibilities. It's different levels of religion, uh, different... Pre I mean, it, it is astounding. You know, uh, Fran Lebowitz said a great thing about Donald Trump. She said um, that what was fascinating about the election with Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton was that nine out of ten New Yorkers did not vote for Donald Trump. That's a huge right. amount for one city. And she said the reason is because we knew who he was. He was a New Yorker. Right. He'd, be, he'd been around us for 25, 30 years. We knew. But like all snake oil salesmen, they can sell their wares to a more um, naive populace. So n New Yorkers weren't going to vote for him, but 